Hello, welcome to Morgan's with Neuramas. I'm Joseph. I'm here with Draco, and today I'm gonna try to beat Draco in Ticket to Ride San Francisco game by Days of Wonder and Alan R. Moon. And let's get going with the playthrough. So, in Ticket to Ride San Francisco, we are trying to build the routes with our little trains to connect cities on the board. Now, all the Ticket to Ride games, which there are a bunch of by now, have some little special thing. In this one, we are also trying to collect these little items and that will be like a set collection so if we can get a bunch of different ones that will score us some points at the end of the game as well other than that if you know ticket to ride you will feel very much at home in this one but let's get started playing uh, draco will be the white player over here and i am going to be the pink player i'm going to be the starting one and these are the cards that we started on and i get one of those fairies which is good because it's a wild card i can use it for anything or i can also use it for making a ferry route. When I do a ferry route on the spaces where you can see a ferry, I will have to spend a ferry card to build there. I have a um, gold card. So this is the route that I'm going to try to build here at first. So I'm going to go from the Embar Embarcardo, Embarcadero over there, all the way down to the Japanese garden. So I need to cross over like this. And that's going to be a little bit tricky. Draco chose to keep both of his starting gold cards. So I will get to those later on. So I need to connect over here and I'm thinking that I will probably start this way. Now, since Draco was the second player, he also got to put out two extra items with which they're only one of each over there. And the other ones are placed depending on where some spots are here. You get two and you can only take one each in a two player game. So this tells me that Draco probably wants to build over here and I want that too, so <clears throat> I should probably get in on that before it's too late. So I think I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with my wild card, my fairy card. I'm going to go right in here because I need to get from over here all the way down there. So this could be a nice path. Uh, when there's two spots like this, you can choose which one you use. In this case, I'm using wild, so I can choose any of them. And in a two player game, the other player cannot build here then. I'm just gonna go like this. And when I place next to one of these tokens, I can take one of them. And now in this case, since there's two, I have to choose. I'm gonna take this one since there's only one of those. And that probably messes it up a little bit for Draco. Now, I also get one point for a route consisting of one train car. So I get one point there. And I guess Draco is not that happy about that. Let's see what Draco is planning. And this would be secret normally, of course, you wouldn't see what your opponent has, what goal they have. But in this case, me and Draco, we play friendly. So, so Draco here, he wants to go from the Union Square to the Golden Gate Bridge. And that's probably why he placed that thing there. And he also wants to go, oh, this is nice. He wants to go from the Union Square to the Twin Peaks. So he has like a path planned out there where that's why he kept both the cards because they both involve the same Union Square. So he needs to start over here. Now I was a little, I'm a little bit in the way there now because he needs to go both this direction and that direction. So I guess he needs some yellow cards. But he could also be a little bit scared that I might take this one and that will really make it tricky for him. So I think he's gonna secure this one right away. He's gonna spend a uh, purple build one here just so he makes sure that I can't block him off there because now he can get uh, well set down to the Twin Peaks this way. Now <clears throat> this of course messes it up a little bit for me because I was heading this way down to the Japanese garden which Draco doesn't know. I mean I'm pretending that we don't know of course what gold cards the other one has. So let's see how am I gonna do this now I need to get down to I, I could go I could go up here and then this way I guess yeah, I guess I, sh I need to do that. So I need yellow. So on your turn, like you've seen us so far, claim. Oh, Draco should actually score a point for that as well. Keep forgetting that. So far, you've seen us do one of the actions, which is to claim a um, route between two cities. Now I'm going to do another action, which is to get more of these uh, route cards. So when I take one here, the rules is I if I take the, the ferry card, which is wild, then I don't get to take another one. But if I take one other one, then it will refill and I will get to draw a new a second card. I could draw from the top of the deck though. Just randomly. If I get a fairy card, I don't get to draw a second one. But I know I want yellow, so I'll take this. 
and if we refill it's a blue that doesn't help me much because I need I need green when I get over here and yeah I don't know I don't really like any of those and now I don't get to take that one because I already taken one so I can't take the fairy card as the second one I guess I'll just take another black so I have two of the same it's usually good there's not the other one okay Draco I think he's in the same situation but he's gonna go down to Twin Peaks so he could use two reds I think he's gonna go for red and it refills and then it's gonna take another red and then we refill and on my turn, I still need yellow, so I'll take a yellow. And I get to take a second one, which could be green, actually. That could work. You can have as many cards as you like of this, so... Yeah, there's no hand limit on the, the uh, transportation cards. Right, Draco, is he going to... I think he's just going to... He has two goals. He's just going to spend two red to go there. You don't have to build connecting to where you already are. In this case, it just happens so that he's already there. And that gets him a ah, good part of the way to Twin Peaks. And that's two. So he scores two points as well. So he's in the lead for now. My turn. I am going to spend two yellow. And build here. And then since I'm connecting to a city that has one of these tokens, I get to take this one. And Draco is a little bit sad because he plays those two that it's only one of each. He placed those two over there planning to get them and I went in there. But yeah, I get two points. All right. Draco's turn. Now he needs... He could go red, yellow. Or he could go yellow, green and then blue. So I think he will go for green. And he'll take another black one because it's good to have same there. Uh, some of the routes out here are gray like this. And then you can use any card, any color card. But you need still need to do three of the same or, or have the fairy in there. The wild card. So my turn. I need another green. If I'm planning to go like this. But then also it's also, also always good. To, to go for these tokens. I'm going to spend my two black ones. To go here. I don't need this route. But that gets me. Let's me take one of those. So I have three already. And that's two more points. So then Draco. And he needs to get those. Those uh, set collection tokens as well. Right. And he knows. He also needs to get from Golden Gate to Union Square. So at some point here he will go this way and that way. So he's actually going to go with two black. He's going to go here. Because that lets him take this little hat. And he gets two points. And uh, then it's my turn. I have a green. And I need some cards. So I need another green. Would be helpful to go that way here. I'm just gonna draw one randomly, the yellow, and then the second one. I'll take. I'll just take a blue. We'll see how that works out in the long run. So Draco's turn, and he is looking for. Well, he's actually gonna rush it. He's gonna play the green. And go here, just one point, but he's very close to Twin Peaks now. So, and he's scared that I might go this way and start blocking him. Like, you basically block people without knowing this is in, the, in this game. So, you know, he's, you know, if he gets all the way here, he's going to block me off from Japanese Garden without him knowing that he's blocking my goal. Right, my turn. I still need green. But I could also... I'm just going to take one. Randomly, I got green, okay. And then the second one... I'll take yellow and we should refill and now we have three fairy out of the five and that means we're going to wipe this you can't have if you ever get to three or more that are the wild cards the fairies you wipe this and oh look at all this blue wow what is going on here that's a bad shuffle <laughs> interesting so Draco 
could get a bunch of blue. Does he want that? Well, he could go this. Yeah, he'll take he'll take two blue. Why not? And there's a wild card, and it's my turn. I'll do my green now. Then I'll pay two green to go here, and I get two points. And I'm starting to become a little bit worried here because I if. Yeah, Dracula's about to block me off from Japanese Garden. And the thing is, if the mission cards, the gold cards that you have at the end of the game that you haven't completed, it's minus those points if you haven't completed them. So that's a little bit worrisome. Okay, Draco, what are you doing? He needs more blue. So he's going to take another blue. And we refill with a yellow. And yeah, he doesn't. Oh, he needs even more blue. He's gonna take another blue. All right. And then my turn. I really need to. I need a yellow. And then so I can go here. And then I need blues. I need another blue. There's no. I can. Go, I can go purple as well. That works. Now Draco has all his blue cards. He's gonna spend two to secure this one. So he made it down there. He gets two points, and now he has completed this Union Square all the way down to Twin Peaks. We'll put that to the side. And now he gets. He just needs to connect here, or somehow, so he gets Golden Gate Bridge as well connected to Union Square. So you want to have those routes that connect that way. I will spend three yellow and I will go here and that is a three so that's four points to me and it's really a race here now because it's kind of obvious that we both want to get this one. Draco has two blue cards. Yeah this is really problematic for me. So he's going to take a fairy as he gets a wild, and he only gets to take one card when he's taking that one, though. And then on my turn, I can't really. Wow, I can't really solve this here. But I could take. I could take another purple. And then my second card, I'll probably take a red. So now Draco, wow, yeah, this is terrible for me. Draco has two blue and a wild card, so he's going to play it like three blues. And he's just going to block me off here. So Draco gets four points. And he has completed the golden gate. No, he needs this as well. Okay. But now I can't get to Japanese garden. Unless I go around the whole thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's terrible. Draco, you blocked me. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to play. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play a red up here. Just to get this token, really, in one point. I mean, Draco, I'm, I can get some points out of these that Draco doesn't have. And Draco's out of cards, so he got to start getting some cards again. And now he needs purple or red. Or green, I guess. So he's just gonna go random. Oh, I got a fairy. Okay, so then he doesn't get to take another one. And I have two purple. You know what? Draco's been blocking me. Should I block him a little bit? Maybe. No, I'm gonna do the other. I'm gonna gamble a little bit. The third action that you haven't seen, you can draw two of these gold cards. And you get to you have to keep one, but you can keep both if you want to. So one says uh, the pair up here to Chrissy Field. I could do that, I guess. Or uh, or the other one is Alcatraz to Twin Peaks. That's going to be super hard since Draco already blocked a lot of things here. So I'm not going to do that one. Uh, but I have to keep one. I'll keep this. I'll try to do this then. The pair to Chrissy Field. I need that. That and that. I just need a few small connections. That's good. Okay. I already have some stuff as well. Draco's turn. He only has the wild card. So he's going to draw randomly here. Got a green. And he'll just go for another green. 
That way he knows he has secured that, that other line. And meanwhile, I will play a purple here. So I'm connected to the pier. That's only one point, but I just need to do that and that. Just two small ones. And at least I have secured the one route, <laughs> at least. And Draco, he is going to spend two green and his wild card. And he's just going to go up here. So now he has connected all the way. A little bit detour. Be four points. But he goes. He can go from Golden Gate all the way to Union Square. So he has completed both of his. I don't know that, of course. But okay, and we're getting close to the end. Once a player has only has two or fewer um, trains left, that triggers the end of the game. Everyone gets one more turn. I need a red and a yellow or black. I'll do. I'll get a black. And it refills, and then I can get. I could get, uh, say, another blue. I'll just take a yellow. And let's see. Now, Draco doesn't have any gold anymore, but I don't think I think it's too late in the game for him to start picking up more because, again, you get minus points if you can't complete them. So I think instead he probably will just aim to get more of these. He has, doesn't really have any of those. So I think he's going to take a fairy. And then my turn, I will play a. I'll play a yellow. To go there, it's only one point, but I'm really close now to connecting my stuff. And then Draco will take. Probably two purple. Well, it refills in between, but yeah, I'll take two purple. And I really need a red, so I'm gonna take a red. And then I will take, let's see, that would help if I can get to go. Can I get down here? It's going to be hard. I'll take a blue. Okay. And now we need to shuffle up the discard pile to get more cards. All right. So that was the red. I got the red. I got the blue. It's Draco's turn. He's going to just do this. It's going to spend these three to build. So that's like three purple. And he's just going to go down here. He doesn't need it for any gold or anything, but that's four points. And he also gets to take a little ice cream. Drake likes ice cream. And that's a second token at least. And on my turn, I will spend my red. So I, I know that I have secured this line. So I have from the Chrissy Fields to the pier. So that's four points at least for to me there. But I'm gonna get minus seven on the yeah, that's terrible. Okay, Draco's turn. He only has three left. He's gonna take a fairy. And then I can spend two blue to just go here. So that is two points to me. And I get to take this one. So I have five of these now. That's nice. That will compensate a little bit for my failed goal. And then Draco will take a black one. And he will take a, another black one. Okay. And then on my turn, I don't think really I can get like the... I don't have the... Um, I don't have that one. But I would need a fairy to get to there. I'm just gonna draw randomly here and I get a red and then I'll take another red. Okay, and then on Draco's turn he will do this. So he can go fairy plus black. And he can get up here and he will take that green one and that will trigger the end of the game because he only has one train left and he gets two points for that. And uh, yeah, so I get one more turn. Hmm. Not really what I was hoping for. <laughs> but I'll just get some points. Two red. I can build like in here. And yeah, that's just two more points. And then Draco can do his last turn. He's just going to spend this to put his last one over there, which is one more point. And that's the end of the game. 
So now we check for uh, completed stuff. So I have done Critter Fields to the pier, that's four points. However, I get minus seven for this, but I, I have five different of these tokens. That gives me six, so I get 10 minus, I get plus three, wow. <laughs> I'm behind Drac even before he, we, we scored his stuff. Drac was so good at these Euro, you know, these small Euro games, it's hard to beat him. Drac has completed both of these, so Union Square to Twin Peaks and Golden Bridge to Union Square. That's 12 points. Three of these gives him two. So he gets 14 in total. So one, two, three, four, 27, 37. Look at that. Draco beats me 37 to 22. I don't stand a chance against this little dragon. He's so good at games. But that's it. Draco beat me in Ticket to Ride San Francisco. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, subscribe to the channel and press the thumbs up, the like button. That really helps us out the channel and so on with the YouTube algorithms. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.